one of the things I'm thinking that one of the really interesting things is that we don't have to give A one and B two and C three. We can actually give any value we want. You could make up your own code. So guess what I did for you? Not only did I make up a new code, but I made up a new song. Now you're not gonna believe this and maybe you're gonna laugh at me when I sing it. And it's okay if you laugh because I'm not that good a singer, which is why I don't go on, on tour, on the concert tour. But would you like to hear the song? Yes. Here yeah. we go. Are you ready? All right. One, two, three, and go. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D N C B N D A. Now you know your Z Y X's. Next time, maybe we'll go to Texas. That's okay. weird. That last part was weird. Do you know why? There aren't a lot of words that rhyme with X's. Like I thought of, it won't be so complex as, but that's not even good English. Can you guys <laughs> please sing this song? Are you ready? On three. One, two, three. Go. Now you know your X's next time. Maybe we'll go to Texas. Maybe we'll go, we'll go to Texas. And if you guys come up with a better rhyme, um, I will give you credit the next time I sing. So can anybody come up with a better rhyme? Go ahead, raise your hand. If some, okay, Kelsey. <laughs> oh, honey, honey, your your internet is a little uh, uh, choppy. Can you can you unmute yourself and say it again? Okay, Kelsey, here's the problem. The, your internet is slow. Could you send it to me in a chat, please? And if you can send it to me in a chat. Yeah, so go ahead and do that. Send it to me in a chat. Oh my gosh, guys, listen to this. Maybe next time won't sing, sound like this. I love it. Kelsey, you win the prize. You win the prize. So awesome. Now, guys, you wouldn't believe it, but I did an analysis. I did an analysis of all the words in the English language that follow the ascending ABC method. And there are 900 words that fall into A is one, B is two, C is three, and add up to exactly 100. In the descending method, there are 1,300. Can you guys hear that? 1,300 words. Now, believe it or not, I have shared that with you. Don't look at it right now because I don't want you to get these without 
trying stuff. But guys, look at this list. I gave you all 1300 words. And then what I did is I actually uh, circled some of the words that I really like. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try the word success. So go to page two in your packet. And if you go to page two, we're going to try the word success because I think that my mathletes are very successful. Now, who can tell me the first 10? Go ahead, Mark. Um, A plus A to 16, 18, 22. Well, 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 hold on a second, buddy. I'm looking for ones, digits that make tens. That make oh, ten. four and six. There you go. Uh, how about you, Sarah? Um, Do you have one, Sarah, for me? Yeah, well, actually, I have one that makes 20. Ooh, that's good, but give me one that makes 10 if you could. Okay, eight and two. Whoa, now, and which one did you get for 20? Um, two eights and a four because... Well, two eight and four will not make 20, no, but I do agree. No, 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 two eights. Oh, oh, one... oh, Sarah, Sarah. Two eights and a four yeah. totally make 20. And Brennan, what's the other remaining? Uh, the, the other two and eight, which is perfect because two and eight would make 10. That is perfect. And everybody on three yell the total for the ones columns. On three, one, two, three, go. 40, 40, 40, 40. We put the zero. zero and we carry the, say it. One, four. Four, and we count two, four, six. Eight. What do we get, guys? 100. We get two, four, six, you should have said. Two, four, six. Ten. Ten. And therefore, success is a dollar word under the new method we call descending. Now, I'm wondering if anyone remembers what acronym we use to figure out the ascending method. Remember those special five letters? And hold on a second, don't wave. Just raise your hand if you remember what they were. I'm gonna go with Mark on this one. Ijrati, Ijrati. Ah, everybody write it down. J-O-T-Y. And can someone else, Kelsey, can you tell me why we like Ijadi? Go ahead, Kelsey. Or so, if someone else wants to help, she's, uh, oh, good, good, she's unmuted now. Go ahead, Kelsey. Oh, you know what, Kelsey, you've got the same internet issue. So how about you, Gabby? Um, cause it equals a dollar bowl. It's I, a dollar bowl. Oh, Ijadi is not actually a word. Wait, no. But, but why um, do you choose Ijadi? Because when you add up the sums of the the sums of the numbers, then you get a hundred. Maybe that's true. But what are the values of E J? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then they count by five. Right. So five, 10, 15, 20. Now, does that add up to 100? No. no. I don't think so. But it, really, it makes it really easy to find the values of the letters in the ascending value. Now, I'm going to call on everybody tell me the letters. So, um, Alexander, can you start with S, please, and give me the value of S in the ascending method? Please. Eight. No, that's in the descending method. You have to look at S against the letter to which it is closest and then subtract or add. Come on, S comes right before what? Uh, S comes right before T. And therefore it must be worth? 19. There you go. Who's, let's see, the next one I'm gonna call on William. Um. <coughs> This is for you, William. <laughs> get it? It's for you. Yeah, I do get it. Um, I'm doing J, right? No, you're doing you. We're doing <laughs> Okay. U is five. Um, five. So. <laughs> so doesn't U come right after T? Yeah, it comes to after T, so. Therefore, if T is it worth equals to 21. That is true. Isabella, can you give me C, please? Um, three. Right, and there are two of them. And uh, Penny, give me an E, please, because there's an E in Penny. Penny, are you still with us? Okay, Penny's not with us, so let's go. With, uh, let's go with Raymond. Okay, what give me an e. Give, me an e, give me an e, buddy. He is. I think he is twenty-two. Under the descending method, but we're looking for the ascending, buddy. We're trying to make a comparison now. In the first part, um, I was on my computer and I couldn't hear you, so I didn't yeah, but, hear but the remember, first part. You remember that E is the fifth letter, Raymond? Yes. Okay, so come on. E must have been worth last week. E must have been worth five. Right. And then finally, let's go with Suni because there's an S in Suni. Constantly. Guys, unmute yourselves if you don't have to wait until you figure out where the button is. Unmute yourselves right now. The only person you might need is somebody with bad internet, but that's okay. Come on, Sunyi. Which letters? Well, what letters are you? I have bad internet uh, like all the time. S. It was last week. Mm, it's the. Come on, not only do we know it because it's the one right before T, but Alexander what? gave it to us earlier. Now look how this pops. Uh, it's. It's. Look at the first number. Look at the first number on that. 19? Set. It was 19. Now, nice job. Now, guys. Does anybody see a relationship between the numbers in the descending method and the numbers in the ascending method? Can anybody make a comparison? Uh, Sarah, what do you see? Um, I noticed that the, um, wait, I have a question. Are we comparing the the descending to the ascending right so if you look at 8 and 19 6 and 21 24 and 3 23 and 5 
And of course, well, we already said eight and 19. Um, well, I thought we were comparing the ascending to the Ejati. That's what I thought. Well, ascending is Ejati, and we used it to find our numbers. So I'm going to ask Raymond to give us his thoughts. He has um, his thoughts. the first part, I couldn't hear you, so I didn't know it's the first part. Can you explain it to me again? Of course, of course. Raymond, thank you for being clear as to what you needed to know. I asked everybody to compare the descending numbers to the ascending numbers. Okay. You ascending me. Ascending is A is one, B is two, C is three, D is three. And the descending, A is 26, B is 25, C is 24, and C is one. So, Gabby, what do you see? Mr. Clayton, what I see is that if you add the descending and ascending, no matter what, it always ends up equaling 27. What? What? Guys, is she right? Is 8 plus 19 equal to 27? Yeah. Is 6 plus 21 yeah. equal to 27? 24 yeah. plus 3 equal to 27? Yeah. 22 plus 5? Oh my gosh. What a great observation. So guess what, guys? We have a really cool way now to figure out. Oh, wait, wait. We've got somebody speaking in the background. No, I didn't find it. I've got some. Oh, shit. My mom's on a call in the background. Let me mute yeah, myself. yeah. Just, just mute yourself, buddy. That's all. Okay, here we go. So you guys ready? We're going to figure out this right now. How many letters are there in the word success? Seven. Say Seven. it out loud, please. Seven. 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 If we do... Seven times 27. We will find out the total of the ascending and the descending values for the word success. Now, who wants to tell me how we can multiply seven times 27? Everybody write it out like this. This is called distributive property. Seven with a parenthesis, 20 plus seven, close parenthesis. And that means seven times 27. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to first multiply seven times 20. <laughs> And then I want you to multiply Mom. seven times seven, and then we can add them together. So seven times 20, and just think of seven times two, and then oh, tack okay. on a zero. Raise your hand if you got the answer and to seven and times 20. Raise your hand if you had the answer to seven times 20. Go ahead, William. 140. Exactly. William, did you do that by doing seven times two is 14 and then tacking on a zero? Yes. That's the best, best method. Now, I think seven times 10 times two. Ooh. Who was that? It was me. Me is hard to know. Antarix. Ah, Antarix. I love that method. I don't like that method. I love that method. Now, I always do that. Who's got a way of multiplying seven times seven? If you know your square numbers, it's going to be really easy. So, Kelsey, let's see if you've got internet now that can that can let you. Am I actually joined on a different? So go for it. Go for it, Kelsey. What's the sum? What's the product of seven and seven? Um. So. Seven times seven, 
I got 41. I well, mean, 40, 49, 49, 49. 49. 49. Yes. And everybody, everybody add 140 to 149. On three. 189. One, two, three, go. 189. So guess what, guys? If success is worth 100 under descending, and I take that away from 189, remember, that's the descending. What must the ascending equal? 89. 89. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Let us try it right now. Now, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put this on a separate. Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. Uh, wait, that's not going to work. I have to move. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. So we are doing, we are trying to see if the ascending value is in fact 89. Come on guys, give me some tens. And I'm gonna ask now uh, Penny to give me the first group that makes 10. Come on, Penny. Wait, 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 did you say sorry? I didn't hear you. I need the first group that makes it 10. Mm -hmm. One's column and which two numbers make 10? 19 and one. Well, yes. I mean, nine and one. We're, yes, nine and one make 10. Does anybody see another 10? Does anybody see another 10 and i actually see one that's a double brennan are you raising your hand buddy uh well yeah but i did the nine i have the nine and one. Oh, you have the nine and one mark what do you have um i got a 20. can you share it with us um five plus three plus and three plus nine that's what i thought guys how cool is that? That's what I thought. Guys, I love it. Now, I was just thinking five and nine is 14, which needs a six, but that works perfectly as 12 plus eight, which is 20. And what's left over? The 19. No, the nine. Just the 39. Beautiful. Now, 39 means that we have a carry of three. And do we have an eight in the tens column. No. No. I see three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Mm -hmm. All right. Does anybody not see eight in the tens column? I heard no, but I actually see an eight in the tens column. So 89 is our answer. And that means that we needed 11 more. Yeah, they're all add up to 80. Who can tell me a word that they tried that is an ascending value? Who can tell me a, a word that they got? And it has to be very accurate. Did anybody try any words at all that they can share? I was working on penguin. Penguin was good. Anybody else? Mm. So nobody tried even one word. Kelsey, what about you? Um, I tried pajamas. And and what 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 was the value of pajamas? Um, it was. I'm not sure where I put it. Oh, I had it. Um, 119. 
Okay, guys, everybody write down 119. Now, if, if Kelsey got 119, how can we figure this out under the descending value method? Oh, you wait, no, it wasn't 119. It wasn't 119. So can you tell us what it was? Um, it looks like it was... Nineteen. Wait, it's messed up. Well, I can't really what? see the. Answer. I think it's really important that we um that we get this right. A jotty means that J is ten, A is one, uh, M must have been what? Anyone? Thirteen, one, and nineteen. So when I look at that, Kelsey. I see, does anybody see a 10 right here? Yes? Yes. Yeah. And does anybody see six, three, and one? Yes? Yes. And I have one left over. So 21, two, three, four, five, six. So pajamas is actually 61. Now it's really important that we got the right number. Now everybody, how many letters are in pajamas? Seven. Wait a minute. We already know seven times 27. Who remembers the sum, the product of those two numbers? Go ahead, Raymond. 187. 80. Well, it's not 187, but it's really close. Brennan? 189. Right. Now, everybody subtract 61 from 189. And what do we get? 128. 128. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to do is to tell me the descending value for each letter. Now remember, all you need to do is subtract 16 from 27. Come on, 27 minus 16 is, go. 11. 11. And 27 minus one? 26. 27 minus 10. 27 minus 1? 26. 27 minus 13? 14. 14. Oh my God. Another, another 26? And what about 27 minus 19? Eight. Eight. Okay. Who's going to be the uh, Isabella? Can you give me the first 10 adding the ones column? Um, six and four. And I totally agree with that. Who's got another one? Who's got another one? Go ahead, Mark. I got 20. Mark? You say, I have 20, and then you give me the numbers. Eight, six, eight, six, seven, and one. Eight, six, seven. I mean, six, seven, one. Seven. Now, which one, which one is it, buddy? Eight, six, eight, six, and six. Ah. So, eight. Six and six equals twenty. And what's left over? What's left over? Come on, guys. Eight. It's seven plus one is eight. So we get thirty-eight. Now nobody yell it out, but please everybody add the tens. And if it were me. I'd be counting by two. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh Alexander. Uh, 12, there are 12 times. Yep. And guess what, guys? You just proved that, that and I, I could even call it the Gabby algorithm because she realized that the sum of all ascending and descendings are 27. Now, who would like to know the shortest dollar word when it comes to the descending method? Who would like to know the me. shortest dollar me. word? Me. Good, huh? Now, is it okay if I use a, uh, I hate to say this, a potty word? Yes. Okay. I don't know. There are parents in the background. You gotta I, watch oh, out. No, so I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit skeptical. Are you guys ready? Yes. There, is a, there is a childish word for poop. And that childish word is caca. Caca? Yep. And and let's do it. Come on, give me a give me a C. Uh, give me an A. One. Twenty-six. Yes, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Give me an A. Twenty-six. And <laughs> under the I'm descending value method. Because I poked mine in it. Do you guys I, see? I saw this. Do you guys see? Twenty-six. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. 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 It is a dollar word. How do we know? What is? Tag, 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 tag. Yeah. And then Let everybody share the two. Four, six, six, eight, ten. eight ten. Hundred. So the reason I did not use the word acta is because a lot of people don't know that that's a real word, but it actually means placing a bet. So it's kind of a weird word I'm sure kids are supposed to do that yeah i don't think that kids are supposed to do that unless they're betting for chocolate kisses then i totally chocolate approve bars. but mm. next time your dog does his business you know you're picking up a dollar word now my question is what must be the value of that word under the ascending method if we have Four letters. Who can tell me what is four times 27? And don't call it out, please. I want everybody to write it down. Everybody write down four times 27. And then, of course, whatever it is, we're going to subtract 100 from that. Now, somebody's coming. And Suni, can you explain how you did it, please? I did four times 20 and then four times seven, which equals 108, and then minus 100, which equals eight. So 80 plus 28 equals 108. And then you took 108, subtracted 100, and got an eight. Now, guys, let's see if that's true. Under the ascending method, you know that C was three, A was one, three and one. Everybody, is that right? Yeah. It is eight. Pretty cool. Now, who would like to see the longest descending dollar word. Brennan, would you like to see it? Is it like Z, 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 hundred oh, times? Oh, very clever. Very clever. No, but I'll tell you what it is right now. Okay. It is a really bad smell. Stinky. It's very stinky. You ready? Has anybody Durian? ever, hold on. Has anybody ever been to a kind of a an active volcano where they got to walk around safely 
near an active volcano. Has anyone no. ever had that experience? No. Not yet? No. Well, there's a place in Greece called Santorini. It's an island in the middle of the, uh, of the Aegean Sea. And when you look at a caldera, which is an old volcano, sometimes there's leftover sulfur. Sulfur is an element that comes up from the inside of the earth and that's very, very stinky. It's actually yellow or orange and it stains your hands if you touch it. And man, you do not want to smell it. And I'm pretty sure that it's spelled so your rust. Now, I don't know if it's a dollar word, but let's try it. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to use Ijadi. We're going to think of this word in terms of the ascending method. And every time we come up with a letter, we're going to come up with the descending letter. Okay? So what's the ascending method? value of S. Say it out loud. Go. 19. 5, Eight. 10, 15, 20, 25. And if the ascending is 19, then the descending is go. Eight. Eight. Got it. Eight. Got it. Now wait for the descending. But when I say on three, you can give me the ascending. Ready. Ascending for you on three, one, two, three. Say it out loud, guys. One, 20, 21. One after T, it's 21. 21. And on three, give me the descending go. One, two, three. Six. Six. Beautiful. Now, give me the L under ascending. One, two, three, go. 15. And now, well, I don't think L is 15 because I know that O is 15 under ascending. So who can rethink the L? Uh, who's got it? Raise their hand, please. If you've got the L under ascending method. Okay, go for it. And Gabby. 12. Guys, you see that L comes two after J, J, K, L. So it is 12. And on three, everybody, give me the descending. On three, one, two, three. 15. 15. Because 27 minus 12 is 15. Now, the F is easy under ascending. On three, one, two, three, go. And on three, one, two, three, go. 21. 21. 21. Q, of course, is six and 21. Give me an R under ascending. On three, one, two, three. 18. 18. And subtract that from 27. And Nine. 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 Nice. Now, O is kind of easy on the under. <laughs> Oh. 15. And give it to me under descending. It's just um, on the main corner, right? 12. Excellent. Excellent. And oh my God, there's a third U in the word sulfurous. And that is surprising. And of course, there's another S, which we already know. Now, everybody. My conjecture is that this is a dollar word. Let's see if it works. Come on, give me the give me the tens. Who's got the first one? Go, Brennan. Uh, two and eight. Two and eight, Sunyi. Sunyi, you are muted, and I can only see the top of your head. Uh, 
Um, mine was A and G. Oh, excellent. Good. William, what about yours? Try to keep yourself unmuted so this doesn't happen, William, because now we're waiting. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Come on, unmute yourself, buddy. I think you just hit um, five, six, and nine. Oh, five, six, and nine is beautiful. I'm glad I waited for that one. Awesome. But you didn't tell me what it equals, William. 20. There you go. And Mark, what do you have for me? Um, Eight, six, five, and one. Eight, six. Five, and one. Yeah, but I'm looking for that other five, and I don't see it. It's right below six. And let's see if I can find it. Eight. We have a six. We've already used it's five. It's a third letter. The third letter. Yeah, but we see that five. Now this is interesting because I thought that this was a dollar word. Does anybody see our mistake? Because I have eight and six is 14, but six more would be 20. But then we have a remainder of one. Can anybody find the mistake? Go ahead, Brennan. Even if it's one more over 100, it's not a dollar word. So it's, no, it's only, that's a very good, that's a very good point, but it's only no, a dollar even, word if it's worth exactly, if it's worth exactly. A hundred. Yeah, that's what Where I said. did we go wrong? Where um, did we be, go wrong? Be, um, because if it was 100, it, it's impossible for it to be 100 um, when there's a one and the one. Unless we made a mistake. So I'm going to ask Kelsey if you see the mistake. Um, I think it's that you've used the I can't hear you, honey. Let's try again. Try again. Uh, Kelsey, are you going to unmute yourself and tell us? What you, you think? You reused the six or eight. I reused the six and the eight. Where do you Where see do you that? The eight and the six and the six, the oh. eight and the two, the mm -hmm. nine, six, and five. But then we've got a remainder of one. Is anybody uh, else trying to solve this? Solve it. Well, let's, let's figure it out, guys. We know that we've got now 20, 40, 51. And therefore, ninety-one. We have ninety-one. Now, I'm going to check something. I'm going to check. See if I can figure out. Maybe I misspelled it. Maybe I misspelled it. Oh, I did. I misspelled it. It's the first S. I misspelled it, and I apologize for my misspelling. Guess what, guys? Instead of an F, it's actually, can anybody tell me what two letters make the F sound? Th. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase this whole thing 
Mr. Kramer is just going to change the F to a pH. Whoops. And let's see if we can fix this. And we also have to erase the six. So what was the P, guys? Under ascending. Come on, N-O-P. 11. Oh, no, that's the B something. Come on, guys. One more than O is? 16. And therefore, under descending would be? 11. O, 11. And what about the H? H-I-J. Come on, say it out loud. Seven. No, eight. that was eight. eight. And therefore? 19. Oh, boy. So I feel so much better. Okay, now let's do it, guys. Um, who is Sarah? Give me the first one, the first 10. You'll have to unmute yourself. Antarish, unmute yourself. Sunyi, Gabby, everybody unmute. So, Sarah. Let's see nine Sarah, I can't hear you, honey. Nine and nine. Oh, thank you. And say it a little with a little more force next time. Unmute, Unmute yourself, my Go. Go, Go Antarish. <laughs> Terrible internet. I can't hear you, buddy. I always have terrible internet when I'm on this but I don't, computer. Under risk. Don't mute yourself. Don't mute yourself. Unmute yourself. Let's try it one so more time. I have terrible internet. You know what? For the, in the time that you said terrible internet three times, you could have given me numbers that make 10. I guarantee you. Come on, Antarish. You can do this. I have some. All right, go for it. Uh, um, there's a two and and there's a two and an eight. Excellent. Excellent. Alexander, do you have another one? Yes, I do. So the nine plus the six plus the five. Nine, six, and five. I totally agree, but you haven't told me what it equals. Twenty. Now you've told me, Mark. What do you see? Eight, six, and six. Ah, that was the one I six. saw. Oh, good, good, good. And but it, it, whoever said that was me, Raymond. What does that equal? One number. I can't hear you, but I wonder. One number. All right, All right. Raymond. You got to pay attention. Eight, six, and six. Now, let's add them up. 20. 20, 20, 10, and 10 make what, guys? 40. 60. There 50. you go. And what is six plus four ones? Um, 100. 100. Well, no. Six plus four ones equals 10. And 10 in the tens column and a zero is 100. Now, how many letters has the word sulfur. Mm -hmm. How many letters? Raise your hand if you've got it. How many letters has sulfurous? On three, one, two, three, go. 10. Ten. Ten. And what is Four. 10 times 27, everybody? 10 times 27. 270. Track the 100 and what do you get? 170. 70. That's right. Now, guys, here are some of the challenges that I'm going to give my older class. And I want to share them with you because they're a lot of fun. So one of the challenges that I'm going to give the older group is I'm going to give them the value of some of the longest words in the English language. So for in the word, and this is a very interesting word. This word is called, um, hold on a second. 
It's called Buckminster Fullerene. Buckminster Fullerene. And what it actually means is it means a um, almost like a spherical object made up of triangles. And if you've ever been to Epcot Center in, uh, in Disney World in Florida, it's a thing that looks like a golf ball and it's just a bunch of triangles and it was, it was invented by a man named Buckminster. And so his object is called a Buckminster Fullerene. It's got 20 letters and under, under the descending value, it's worth 233. Now, Mark has a question. Uh, I don't have a question, I have a comment, but what about supercalifragilistic espialidosis? Well, but you know, don't you think the sound of it is simply quite atrocious? But you know what I'll say to you though, if you say it very fast, you'll only sound precocious. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. So actually, the truth is, I made a mistake here. These values are the values I got under the ascending value. Now, you can work on this one, Mark, but everybody, if Buckminster Fullerene has 20 letters, who can do 20 times 27. We're going to figure out the descending value without doing much work at all. Who can do 20 times 27? Don't call it out, please. Think of 27 times 2 and then tack on a zero. Out of a clue. Got one hand up. That's Kelsey, but don't call it out yet. Come on, guys. You know 27 times 2 or 27 plus 27. 4, carry the 1. On 3, everybody. 1, 2, 3. 54. No. 540. You got to tack on the 0. And if it 233 from 540, you will get Buckminster Fullerene under the descending. All right, raise your hand if you can do that calculation. I've already got two people raising their hands. I've got three, no, I've got two. Come on guys, this one's uh, really interesting. I don't see everybody writing. I see some people just thinking. Thinking is good, but only with your pen. All right. On three, everybody. One, two, three, go. 307. 307. 307 is perfectly correct. If you borrowed a one from the four and made the zero a 10, you got. 307. Now, I would love to try all of this. Don't do that. Everybody oh, right me. now. Well, whoever did it is really eight. not smart. Go to the, the last eight. eight. You pay attention. If you, go, if you go to page 15, guys, you will see all the words under the ascending and the descending. Our algorithm and try them all. The other thing you can try is you can try all 1300 descending value dollar words to make sure that they equal exactly 100. And you have all summer to do it. So, this is our last class together. But I hope to see you guys next year with energy and excitement for mathematics. Who wants to join me in saying 
thank you to all of you mathematicians. And I hope you have the best summer. Raise your hand if you want all mathematicians around the world to have a great summer. I'm gonna raise both hands on that. All right, guys, have a great summer. I'll see you. Maybe I'll see you Bye. on Bye. Bye.